Ciao. Oh my god. It's really hot. Oh my god. I just bought a bottle of water and I bought five oranges and I bought some deodorant and some, uh, what do you call it? Toothpaste. And um, I'm just walking to the old town now. And um, I need to get some smoking papers. I forgot to buy those. And then um, I saw a couple of cafes where the price is reasonable. Um, this is kind of approaching British dinner time. It's about 6 p.m. now, so I need to eat, seriously. So I've got some snacks, like for when I go back home. And um, I've got some drink, obviously, to keep me going throughout this scorching, scolding weather on this island. This island is so hot. Oh my God, it's hotter than Valencia City. Okay. So the island of Ibiza, they have like a little kind of, um, I guess you would call it a peninsula. It's like a piece of the island that sticks out and you can get um, coaches to that little piece of island that sticks out. You can see all of like the uh, yachts here. Yeah, I was speaking to the lady who does the Airbnb and she said that it's just hella, hella expensive to rent apartments here. She said that some places they're renting apartments for like 1700 euros for a month in like july and august 1700 euros for a month that's just crazy so you know i'm really glad that my sister caught this um this airbnb because it would have just it would have been snapped up it really would have been snapped up because it's just too hella expensive to stay here and I was thinking, oh, you know, well, if I don't get um, the Airbnb, maybe I could find a hostel. But I doubt the hostels here would be as cheap as they are in Valencia. I really, really doubt that. So, yeah, let's just try to walk through here. Yeah, so on the way back, I'll have to go and get on this one. Okay. Yeah, look at that up there. Oh, my God. That is actually the back of a ship. Oh my god. Oh god. You know I hate crowds, you know what I mean? So you can put your vehicles on that boat to go to Formentera. Oh, Formentera is actually um, a smaller island, another island, yeah. Nautical Club Ibiza. Look at the mountains over there. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my God. See, in Valencia, where I live, you can't really get this close to the boats. Hello. Hello. You cannot get this close to the boats in Valencia. Look at this. Oh, now this reminds me of Port Supplier in Valencia. Look up there. Look at the hill. Is that a church up there? And you got your little kind of like shelter here. People queuing over there. People sitting in the shade of the trees. How you doing? Estacion Maritima. You know, Maritime Station. Balearia. Oh my god. Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, let's have a little explore. So, my first impressions of here, um, it kind of reminds me of Alicante, if you've been to Alicante before. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Alicante here. I'm getting that vibe. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Alicante. Yeah. This is a nice square. Oh, Hard Rock Cafe over there. Religion. Oh, I know that store. Okay. So I go down this street, I got a little vibe to go down this street. 
Paul Smith, oh, ha. Ibiza Republic. Oh, I need to walk in the shade, oh my God. Yeah, it really reminds me of um, Alicante down here. Oh, I thought that was a painting of a man up there, but it's actually a real man, like playing playing with the uh, with the um, plant. Oh my God, I don't even know where to go. Mirage Beach, where? Can Rafael? Honey, they are expensive. It's very um, rustic looking here. The prices aren't rustic there. They were like four, 9, 14, 15 euros allegedly for tapas. What? Glass of white wine, 8 euros. Honey. A bottle of wine, 38 euros. Ouija. Hmm. Is that an old city wall over there? Oh my god, let's go and have a quick look over there. Piedra Sibitza. Maybe that's like a crystals shop. Yeah, I'm looking for a specific um, cafe, so... I think that's an old city wall there. Oh, you've got your gothic saw hair. Oh, huh. This is a really nice little road. Oh my god. This is a nice little road as well. I'm trying to hold the phone as like oh wow yeah i'm trying to hold the phone as really steadily as possible guys yeah wow these little streets are amazing oh my god Tus. Can you believe I forgot to bring my swimming shorts? So I could still go to the beach, but I mean, I couldn't go in the water with underwear. Oh my God. So get out. What is this? I wanted to step back and view it, but then the trees are in the way. They've got different bins here as well. Actually in Burjasot, in the north of my city, they have these, um, type of bins. I need to find out what this is. Is this a castle or is it just a city wall? Can you see inside there? Okay, there's like a wooden door there. You can't see anything. Oh my God. Should I walk this way around or should I go the other way around? It's like there's like towers at each corner. That's a dead end down there. Let me go to the end and come back. How you doing? So, so far I'm really enjoying, um, this is like Ibiza Old Town. I'm really enjoying it. Um, the streets are amazing, honestly. The streets are amazing. trying to like control the contrast because the contrast just goes crazy on this phone. Got a little restaurant here hidden in the corner. Oh my god, wow, look. 
Okay, oh my god, we're gonna have to go up there. Wow, the old, I don't even know what it is. If it's a fortress or just an old city wall. Il Dec, Italian Bistro, Il Dec, La Dulce Vita, La Isla Bonita, La Dulce Vita. Moratvel. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh my god. Is this an indoor market? Okay. Okay, I have to go up there, obviously. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, let's go up here. La Esquina. Mm hmm. Tapas. Wow, this looks like a royal kind of parade, like where, you know, the king would come down, or the emperor. Oh my god. Yeah, you've been filmed. Say cheese. Say cheese. Look at this. Oh my god, the drawbridge. Wow. Look down here as well. Look at that little door down there. I bet that used to be like a little secret entrance. How you doing? Oh wow, oh my God, wow. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that little place just hidden in the corner over there. Oh, I really should have worn my other shoes that I wear to work because these ones are slippery. You've got some broken off heads there. So obviously this is like the Roman. Wow, oh my God, this is amazing. And you can just walk in here for free as well. Oh my God, wow. Wow, guys, this is amazing. This is amazing. I should have been to Ibiza, like, sooner. It's like architectural heaven. Architectural heaven, oh my God. So you've got another exit here. You're entering another square. It's so medieval. Oh my God, it's, it's even before medieval, obviously. Romans, hello. Wow, oh my God. Jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What's up here? Adrenaline. Gelato. That shop looked like it was built into the wall. You can see like the, um, like a, oh, actually it's just like, <laughs> they had like a, um, what was it? it? I could tell it was like a wallpaper that kind of like, had a kind of a wall design and it was like women like painted on it. Look at this, oh my God. This is going to be a long video. There's a piece of old wall just stuck in the middle here. Yeah, I need to move the camera slowly. La Plaza Ibiza. I'm not even going to... Carnes, 18 euros, 20 euros. Pastas, 18 euros, 21 euros. Pastas, ciao. Extortion. Extortion. Oh my god. 18 euros for like just a main course. Child. Y pizza amanecer. So, you know, what does amanecer mean? It means um, sunrise. Okay, the sun just hit me just now, like on my chest. 
gelato, ice cream, bonito, pretty, pretty mayo. Oh wow, look up these steps up here. Okay, I might go up there in a minute. I might go up there afterwards. This little street is amazing. And then this one, they've obviously converted a restaurant. They built a restaurant into an old bit of wall there. La Torreta. Victoria. La Oliva. Olive. The Olive. This little street is amazing. La dispensa. So, you know, if you want to dispensar algo, you can say that. La dispensa. Look at this little place. This little lad of mine. Oh, it's the same name. It must be the same uh, restaurant. It's a smoking quarter, you know. That's a nice little stairway to heaven over there. I might go up that one. Oh, another dispenser. How many dispensers do you have in one corner? That's a nice song. Oh, look at this traditional old door here. This reminds me of Ciudad Bella in Valencia. Okay, it's getting quiet down here now. Yeah, it really does remind me of Alicante, this part especially, because there's lots of hills. Look at this little open door, you know. Someone was looking down while I was speaking, so I thought I'd tilt the camera up. Okay, this part seems more residential now, so... How you doing? It's just never ending, oh my god. Mommy! Yo! Mojito Authentico. So, allegedly, there is a authentic mojitos there. This is a very relaxing place. Let's see what we can see from this part. Wow, you can see the hills there. Oh my god, so definitely this must be um, like... This must be like the Royal Quarter, just like when I went to Lidia and we entered the Royal Quarter. So yeah, we're officially within the Royal Quarter of uh, Ibiza. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you can go through that. I would sing The Hills Are Alive with the Sound of Music, but there's too many people around and I'm scared. I'm shy. Boulevard de Saint Pere. Encore. It's a bit downstairs. Hello. Okay, I'm going inside. The man says for free. How are you doing? Oh my god, speaking in uh, Catalan. Honey, medieval. Okay. 
Un dia, fins i tot es va haver de vagar per les muntanyes per fugir. Tenia molta por. I jo que no em sabia... Mare, que de tant. Déu, perdó. El volia matar, el capità aquest, que es diu a l'onça de l'entrada. És un home de molt mal gent, però va a molt. Tot es dir, apunta en sa llibreta sa gent que treballa a sobre de ses morades noves, que el senyor rei Felip, que rei guarda, està fent construir aquí. Fixeu-vos si és dolent, eh, capità? Que una altra vegada estava en Pere a sobre i es va presentar el capità i per no res, one good thing about this phone is that it does really, really well in low lighting, actually. I was surprised how it illuminates the low lighting um, atmosphere. So, yeah. Honey. Okay, so the streets are getting even more so narrower and um, it's actually reminding me now of, um, what's that place called? Oh my God, Cordoba. It reminds me of Cordoba now. Yeah, this reminds me of Cordoba. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So I was filming there, but then there's just like a makeshift like children's swimming pool. So it's like obviously I can't film them, can I? <sighs> so yeah. Anyways, nothing. Didn't, didn't like there's anything down there anyway to look at. It's a bit weird because like obviously it's a tourist area. And then you just got random people's houses like along the tourist area and then it's like you look inside the window and it's like someone's kitchen. It's like, oh shit, like I thought that was a shop. <laughs> so one minute it's a restaurant, one minute it's a shop and then the next minute it's someone's kitchen. And I'm like, oh, okay. So you really got to be careful like where you look, you know. So yeah, we're back in the main strip here. And then you can see the gate over there. Yeah, amazing. So literally, yeah, this is the old town, obviously. So yeah, um, I was really impressed with Valencia old town, but I feel like the Ibiza old town, the medieval town is like a lot bigger. Considering Valencia is a bigger city, I feel like the old town in Ibiza is bigger. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm really, really impressed. I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. Like here, like there's more city wall intact and you can go inside, you know, the underground, the underbelly of the wall and, you know, the, the torres, you know, the towers. In Valencia, you can go up, like, two towers and you can't go in the underbelly, in the cellar or anything. They pretend that there's nothing down there when they're lying. You know, there's tunnels under the city. How you do Yeah. Honey, I think you should visit. If you like architecture and history, you need to come to Ibiza. I'm not here for partying, sorry, I'm not here for clubbing. You know, but the architecture and the culture is amazing. How you doing, man? And also what I love is like down there, it's like heaving, busy, busy, busy. And then like, just literally like two minutes walk away, you find a little corner like this. I don't know if that's his house, um, that must be his house. But then here it is like a little restaurant. And there's a restaurant there and it's just so quiet and intimate. You know what I mean? Heaving and bustling like one meter away. And then the next meter away is like tranquility, you know, tranquilidad. You know what I mean? That's why I love it. I love it when you can just like, ch like chip and chop and change like in an instant in the blink of an eye. What? Do you know what I mean? Hello. 
So I'm just practically on top of the wall now. And I love this little corner here. Look at the water down there. Got some speedboats, got some ferry coming in. Maybe that's that one's coming in from, um, could be coming in from one of the other islands, could be coming in from Valencia, you just don't know. These ones are coming in here. Really, really good breeze here. You can imagine the little mermaid sitting there, Ariel, you know, under the sea, dum ba dum. She would be sitting there whipping her head like Willow Smith. Oh my god, guys. Okay, if I ever leave Valencia, I think I'm going to move to Ibiza. I think if I move, if I leave Valencia, I think I'm going to move to Ibiza. Some way, somehow, where there's a will, there's a way. Because seriously, oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. This little island, there's so much history, there's so much like culture. Oh my god. Yeah. Now, I was excited when I went to Valencia, but I think I'm more excited about Ibiza than I was for Valencia. Okay. Look, you can hear and see the waves crashing down there. Oh my god, wow. Look at that, oh my god. This is basically showing um, the Turkish attack on Ibiza and um, it says the date was 1578. Wow, oh my god. And um, I noticed as well, they're showing some boats here. I noticed that they got some cannons. So they're ca the, the cannons they're facing straight ahead. So, how far would the cannons go, do you think? Would it go like, it wouldn't go to the mountains, would it? <laughs> Ciao. Oh my god, amazing. amazing honestly this is amazing oh, there's a muse museum there museum of art contemporary so a museum of how do you say Ibethian Ibethian <laughs> Museum of Contemporary Ibethan Art over there. Okay, just this is so much to see. Like, look at this, like, these steps here. Look at that little skinny road. Like, people just live above there. Like, their washing is hanging out there, you know. There's a little, another little kind of, like, medieval arch here. Entrance gate here. Let's try and go down here. Hopefully we don't get run over. There's a red light, so I don't know if it's meant to be like one way each. Yeah. I guess I should walk on this large cobblestone path here. Or sidewalk, as they say in America. This cobblestone pavement. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, look, you can tell that's original, it's like crumbling down. This is definitely original brickwork here. So this is basically the Muraya, or the city wall as they call it. Okay, I'm sorry, but the preservation of the, um, the old architecture here... I mean, you could just say that the, the, the architecture hasn't crumbled as much as, as it has in Valencia, because, like, honestly... The medieval architecture here, there's like a thousand times more to enjoy. 
Oh my god, I need to like make some plans to move here mate. What? I need to make plans to move here. I think I walked through here before actually. Yes. Okay, I'm sure some people look at those girls again. <laughs> oh yeah, did I walk down here? I think I did walk down there. There's some police here. Last life tattoo. 